Okay, we're at a sports here with uh, the great Bernard Hopkins. Uh, you kept saying on the, during the press conference uh, that you can't look back because uh, then uh, you'll be kind of stagnant. You won't move forward because you have the one more fight. Uh, how do you do that? Well, you strong mind. Um, and you also have a mind of uh, deeds and of credibility because the focus is on December 17th. Because I know that's the other puzzle, piece of the other the puzzle that need to be put in for me to sit back. And when I look back, I'm going to look way back. And I, when you got to look back to be motivated for tomorrow um, and not be motivated by the presence of tomorrow, um, then you, you're reaching, you're finding things, you're, you're, you're trying to create something to be motivated. I don't need to do that. Uh, all I need to do is be motivated, and I am. I feel that's last. why you can't look back. You ever run and look back and they catch you? <laughs> yeah, if a dog chases you, you don't look back, right? <laughs> when uh, you're, After your last fight uh, against Sergey Kovalev, that was obviously like two years ago. Almost November. Next month be two years. Was uh, your idea after that fight to fight one more time? Was it just an idea that you wanted to get a win before you retired? That, why, no, why come back? My, my idea was at the fourth Sergey Kovalev wasn't to retire. Well, I would have mentioned it right then and there. Um, is to actually go out the way I wanted to go out, and that is do one more fight in spite of. Um, I didn't beat Cover Love, but if I would have beaten Cover Love, obviously I would have went on to try to unify with Adonis Stevenson and be the unified champion. If that couldn't happen, then hopefully something will open up where I can go ahead and make a historic light heavyweight um, fight somewhere. But we know what happened. I lost to Sergey Kovalev. Um, retirement never was on my mind. Never even thought about it. I guess people assume um, that I will. And why in the mix of trying to get fights or trying to at least being led to think that I was going to get a Donna Stevenson, he didn't want to fight or his management or his consultant or his advisor or whoever it was. Um, it didn't come to pass. So now I waited and had patience and continue to do my duties at Golden Boy Promotion and continue to um, represent boxing in my family and my personal business that I have up and going running and that is real estate. But the thing that I didn't actually know that was going to happen until I worked with Floor Mayweather and Pacquiao fight. People seen charisma. They seen knowledge being broadcasted through my color commentating. Um, as they call it, expert in a color commentating. And they also seen my dress code. And they seen the way I was camera friendly. And then that open up opportunities on one of the biggest, if not the biggest networks in sports and TV is called HBO. So when you take the swag bag and all those things that's in that, he's different than everybody else. They said that. And I said, absolutely right, that you're right, but there's always more that I want to show other than just what they see. And so far, I'm going to do that even more when I'm done after December 17th. Speaking of broadcasting, uh, you, Roy... I love it. I respect it. Roy Jones is also a Roy's commentator as well. <laughs> I was going to say, is there a competition between you two? There's no competition. It's just that if everything is judged on performance, then you must step your game up. Any job that you have, including being married, having a girlfriend or boyfriend, or job where there's always going to be competition. And if you don't step your game up and you let things just fall to the wayside and you don't look like you used to look two or three years ago, neither do I.
but at least if you don't try to make an effort, a sincere effort to always keep the flame lit, then your job is always up for grabs in any situation. I say any situation. So I look at that in sports. I look at that in personal. I look at that in, in, in everything that I possibly can imagine where you can be replaced. And so there's no competition with nobody else that breathe the same air that I breathe. You know what the competition I am in, involved in? Me. I'm in competition with myself because even though I believe I can do whatever I can do, they don't believe it. And it's not whether they do or don't. I recognize that I challenge myself more than anybody in this room will ever challenge me to push me to the limit. And it's not just sports, it's in everything. I believe in myself more than people do. And I've been victorious in proving I'm wrong.